Today I'm going to release some prophetic words that the Lord has given to me over the last several months. And I have been praying about uh, these words from the Lord. And I feel in my spirit that this is now the time and the season to release uh, these words. And the Lord spoke uh, this to me the other day. He said, child, do not fear releasing my words that I give you. I know that it's difficult for you to release words of judgment, but I choose you to do this because you have a tender heart. And so, um, as always, when I have a difficult uh, prophecy to release, I always ask the Lord for confirmations, and usually I ask for three confirmations. And so I've been praying about um, the Lord confirming um, a particular message that I was given in May. And um, the Lord said, yes, my child, I will indeed confirm my message to you. And then he said, look for 63 three times while I was praying at my altar. Immediately, Isaiah 63 came to my mind. It was placed in my spirit. And so I want to read to you Isaiah 63, uh, 3. And uh, the Lord has said, I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me, for I have trodden them in my anger and trampled them in my fury. Their blood is sprinkled upon my garments, and I have stained all my robes. And as soon as I read that, immediately, then Holy Spirit then uh, placed within my spirit Psalm 63. And I want to read Psalm 63, verse 11. It says, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. I want you to remember that verse. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped when I uh, give the word from the Lord. And you'll see how that has confirmed what, uh, what the Lord had given me. And then the other scripture, the third um, scripture um, I really had to search in scriptures to actually to find it, but the Lord said, look for 63, three times. So I found the scripture in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28, but this time it's verse 63. It says, the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and bring you to nothing, and you shall be plucked from off the, off the land which you go to possess. So after I had found these scriptures, um, the Lord said, he said, my child, I knew you would ask me to confirm it three times. Um, and I gave those confirmations through my holy scriptures. And then he said, the Lord said, now I want you, want you to look up the number 63 in your numbers dictionary. Now I want to show you um, the book that I'm talking about. Um, this is um, a book that was sent to me from a family in uh, South Africa a few years ago. Uh, it's a family that I have ministered to over the years and they blessed me with this book and it has really been an, an awesome book when I have questions about uh, particular numbers that I maybe that I don't know about. So the Lord was telling me go to that book and look up the number 63. When I looked up the meaning of 63, I was so amazed. I was just like, wow, Lord. So 63 means prophetic calling, the number of a prophet. It shows a person has an animated zeal and earnestness for the work of the Lord. And when the Lord had given me that message about looking up that number, I, I, I knew that I needed to release um, uh, this word that uh, the Lord had given to me. So on May 27th, 2020, I was at my outside altar praying and singing in tongues and Holy Spirit instructed me to go get my journal because he wanted to give me a message. Um, so I wrote the message and it, this is a, a serious message and, and honestly, I, I take no delight in delivering um, a message like this. Um, he said, um, Barack Obama will go to prison, but then his sentence will be commuted. 
Hillary Clinton will die and go in the way of her fathers to a place of perdition. Perdition means hell or damnation. He said this will end an era of corruption, deceit, and lies. Remember, I said, remember that scripture about, um, about the lies being stopped. He said there will be two prominent senators that will also die around the same time. And he said, as you know, child, I have ordained Donald Trump to have a second term. Pray against the forces that are trying to thwart my plans for your nation. And then just yesterday, on July 14th, um, the Lord gave me this message. He said, child, they are spraying the virus to keep it going. And I said, Lord, who are they? And he said, they are the ones who want to stop Trump from getting reelected. They will stop at nothing to accomplish their plans. Continue to pray against the forces that are trying to thwart my plans for your nation. So what I have been doing is I have been praying in tongues against these forces that are trying to thwart uh, Father Yahweh's plans for our nation because Holy Spirit produces the perfect spiritual warfare prayer. And I'm asking you to do the same thing. Just say, Lord, I'm praying in regards to this nation. I'm asking you, Lord, to stop these forces that are trying to stop your plans for our nation. And then just open up your mouth and begin to pray in your prayer language. I'm, I'm pleading with people to, to pray. Now I want to go back to May 29th, 2020. And um, the Lord revealed to me the charges against Obama that will get him a prison sentence. The Lord said one word. He said extortion. And then he said Barack Obama has committed many crimes, but extortion is the one that will stick. Now I want to move on to a dream um, that I had um, about um, Mike Pence. So in the dream, I was being trained as a waitress in an outdoor cafe. And it was such that people would walk up to a counter um, and take their order. And I was being trained to take their order. And then the, the outside cafe had um, an area where there, were, where there was outside seating. It was like a big plaza with outside seating. And so this young gal was training me uh, to take orders and I was wearing a full apron. And she looked up uh, across the, the, the plaza area and said, oh, look, there's Mike Pence. And immediately I, I whipped off my, uh, my full apron, <clears throat> threw it on the floor, and I ran across the plaza and um, I, I addressed him, I said, President Mike Pence, and he, he, he reached out his hand to shake me, but instead, to shake my hand, and instead I grabbed him by the shoulders and I gave him a hug and I said, real quickly, I said, I said, uh, I wanna let you know that I've been praying for President Trump and his wife and their family, and I want to let you know that I have also been praying for you and, and Karen um, and, um, I want to uh, let you know really quickly that the Lord has revealed to me that Donald Trump will get a second term, but we need to pray. And immediately Mike said to me, yes, we do need to pray. He said, because they are planning on um, impeaching Donald Trump a second time. And then I said to him, um, I said, um, a prophet of the Lord has it has been revealed to a prophet of the Lord, um, Mike, that you will also get two terms as president of the United States of America, and I want you to just keep that in your heart. And he and he uh, he looked me right in the eyes, and he said, and and I was also wearing a cross, and he looked down at the cross, and he looked me in the eyes, and he said, well, there's um, a lot of ground to to cover between now and then. And then he smiled and walked away. So then on June 8th, 2020, the Lord gave me this message. He said, Mike Pence will get two terms as president. Now, um, I want you to know that when the Lord gives a message such such as that, that doesn't mean that as, as 
Christians that we just drop the ball and say, oh, yay, we're, we're going to get Mike Pence for eight years. We're going to get Donald Trump for four more. We still need to pray because there are forces of, of, of enemy forces in the spiritual realm and in the natural realm that are trying to stop God's plan for our nation. And unless we pray and pray through and pray against these forces, that these these words of the Lord can fall to the ground. They, they but that's not what the Lord's plans are. The Lord's plans are that that Mike or that Mike Pence gets eight years and that and that Donald Trump gets four more years. And so we need to pray. Now, I know I've given you a lot to absorb, and I would ask that you place these things in prayer and seek the Lord's face. But more importantly, I would ask that you pray for Donald Trump in this election. Pray against these forces that are trying to stop Donald, uh, or just trying to stop Father's plans uh, to get Donald Trump um, as a second term. Pray in your prayer language. If you don't have a prayer a prayer language, then pray in English, pray in your, your tongue, your native tongue. But please, please pray because this is so important. Thank you and have a blessed day.